Hey everyone, I've been testing the M3 Max and RTX 4090 lately, and one of the key features I've been exploring is their ability to power through AI tasks. Now for most of us, generative AI falls into two main camps, image and text. Image generation is super important, and I'm gonna take a dedicated look at it in a different video. For today though, I'm a coder, and all this testing has got me thinking. Can I use local LMs to replace GitHub Copilot? We'll start our exercise by downloading the free LM Studio and once installed, grabbing one or more code-centric chat models. For reasons we'll see shortly, I strongly prefer Dolphin Mixtral, so I'll type that into the search window. From the results, I'll use the UI hints to choose a quantization version that fits within my machine's RAM budget. Now this whole RAM thing's important, so let's expand on it for just a moment. For local code completions, we want to balance speed and quality. Lower quantization typically means faster processing, but gives lower quality results. Unfortunately, for my testing, most consumer-grade GPUs aren't capable of running models that are outright better than Copilot. Notable exceptions, however, are the 4090 with its 24 gigs of RAM and Apple Silicon Max with that much RAM or more. In short, if you're buying a new machine and plan on running local AI, juice up that RAM spec as much as possible. Anyway, once we have our model, simply click the server tab, select the model, and click start server. Next, in VS Code, we want to install the continue extension. Click this icon and press the gear icon. And at the top of the JSON config file, add a new block of code in the model section. The key here is to make sure the provider is set to LM Studio. The other two parts, you can just literally put whatever you want as long as you can identify the model in the UI. And that's it. Local completions are ready, so let's compare them to Copilot. Starting with continue, we use the shortcut Command Shift L to trigger an inline prompt. If no code selected, we'll describe what we wish to create, or if we have a selection, how we'd like to edit that code. One major downside of Continue and its current implementation, it doesn't yet support inline code completions like Copilot. Now for many, this will be a deal breaker and that's totally understandable. The good news is this feature appears to be in the works, so stay tuned on that front. Now for Copilot, the experience is, well, almost identical. The only difference being those inline completions and the keyboard shortcut used to trigger inline chat, which for Copilot is Command I. So let's try a few coding tasks. We'll start by asking it to write a function that adds two numbers. Next, we'll ask it to change this to joining two strings. And now let's revert this and change it back to adding two numbers. And finally, we'll do what's arguably most helpful. We'll have it tighten up our code and check for common errors and prevent bad input. Now, as you can see with the exception of speed, the results and experience are actually really close. Okay, so let's ask them to do something more interesting. It's absolutely critical to note something here. Most models I try fail when you ask it to do everything at once. However, when you break tasks into smaller steps and build up, it works quite well. So for example, create a web page that contains a blue circle. The ball should be centered at the top of the screen horizontally and placed at the top of the page. Next. We'll update this page so the ball drops to the bottom of the page using a realistic gravity equation. When the ball reaches the bottom of the screen, it stops. Finally, update this logic so when the wall reaches the bottom of the page, it bounces up realistically like a rubber ball. On each bounce, it loses some momentum until it stops completely. Finally, let's try one more. Create a web page. Add a file upload field to the form. When a user uploads an image, the image should be flipped vertically and displayed to the user. So here's my takeaways. Dolphin Mixtral is really good. It's not as fast as Copilot, but the results are absolutely worth it. Second, convenience. Copilot's always there so long as you have a network connection. Local means starting a server, eating up some resources, and managing models. Still, local is free, and the results are currently much better if you can run the right models. And that takes me to the last point, the right models. See, Dolphin Mixtral is a variant of Mixtral, with Mixtral being the first model I've used that's head and shoulders above everything else when it comes to task-based completions. That is what we did here today. 
The downside is Dolphin Mixtral isn't going to run well on most PC hardware. The X factor is inline completions, which again, aren't yet supported on the continue extension. Now, this is important because in my daily use, I rarely do what we saw here today. I'm much more interested in completions, and it's totally possible that more modest models will match or exceed Copilot in that regard. Now, if they do, well, that's gonna be really interesting to see where the space is in the next couple of years. I'd basically put it this way. Would you pay a cloud service for spell check? Anyway, thanks so much for watching, and if you're into AI image gen, stay tuned for my next video.